According to National Gold, PNG Limited Managing Director Lubo Todorov, these two Starlink units were brought into the country last Monday from Australia to provide technology to utilize alluvial gold and to provide self-employment for people in the island's region. Upon arrival, the items were confiscated by PNG Customs and ended over to NICTA. It was told by NICTA that these technological equipment with Starlink brand were illegal and should not enter the country. However, Mr. Todorov queried that the information relayed by NICTA contradicts ICT Minister's announcement on the 24th of January and demands clarity from the two authorities. NICTA, they are stating that the, 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 the receivers are not approved by them and the minister can, should not have put that information in. But it's terribly wrong because, you know, we follow the, we follow the information, we follow the, what is, that everything is available, that all has been approved on the 24th of January, and already they got five years' licenses, and custom, custom intercept this, uh, what they were declared, officially declared, they were not trying to be smuggled in the country, so the units were declared. And uh, this is the receipt, the receipt given for the units. I went, I went on the uh, the tenth. I went and met with this, the guy for the, from that organization, and he said, yes, the minister uh, should have not, should have not uh, given that information because it's not true. We have not authorized it. So who is, you know, what is what? Is the minister work for them or they work for the minister? So the units are still with them, all right? So we, we canceled the trip. We, we're supposed to go uh, about 300 kilometers above Abuti. I organized, I've got a boat and everything, and uh, we're supposed to show people and show Papua New Guinea. And we canceled it because we have no communication. Anything happened, you know, and that's why these units were brought, to have a communication when we are there, you know? So uh, all, all what we want to know, what is the truth? You know, what, why, why the media, why the, the information, what is on the internet, that the start leaking license is not recognized by a, by a department what is saying, no, it's not licensed. Mr. Todorov says these technological equipment were brought in to help Papua New Guineans, especially in the remote parts of the country, and to provide communication services needed and must be embraced. Not me, it's about the country as a whole, that missing on a, on a technology what will help people to communicate and grow the country further. You know, so it's something, it's not something what to sweep underneath the carpet, it's something what is important for the country due to the fact that we don't, the country doesn't have widespread internet, and if it does, it's very bad, you know, it doesn't work. So it's, it's something what the country should embrace and support, but it's the other way around. As you can see, you know, they confiscate the units and they still got them. Minister Masiu clarifies that the approval of the license to Starlink by NICTA is subject to completion of negotiations on terms and conditions of the license. It says for now all Starlink terminals that are imported in Papua New Guinea are deemed illegal and unlicensed upon arrival. Minister Masiu says PNG laws apply in PNG. All non-nationals and PNG alike must and should uphold all PNG laws at all times. Furthermore, it says any Starlink terminals that are imported at this point in time are deemed illegal as negotiations between NICTA and Starlink over terms and conditions are yet to be concluded. Stella Martin, NBC National News, Potmosby.